very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture and the subject is mining geology and today's topic of discussion is the open cast mining and this is the continuation of our previous video and for this video i referred the books the course in mining geology by arogya sami textbook of mining geology by umatya so so far what we had seen is what is open cast mining why we should go for open cast mining and how it is done in that also we had seen what is loading by hand and then in loading by machine we had seen what is a drag line and what are power shovels what are scrappers and how the land dredgers work and the working principle of overburden bridges or t bridges right so so far we had seen all these things and today's uh, video will be on glory hole and cave in mine in cornwall okay so let us get into the heading the glory hole okay so the left side image shows the sketch of a glory hole where you can see there is a shaft that is outside the mining portion and there is a shaft in the center of the mining portion and you can see here there are step like appearing that is uh, concentrating towards the center and you can see there is a wagon or a, say a mine car or something is there here right okay so this is the setup of a glory hole and the basic working principle is that in a glory hole method the pit or quarry is opened out by developing in such a way that the working phase are arranged in the form of concentric steps descending to the deepest or the center portion so this is how it starts so the steps will be like this which is a circular like concentric right and uh, at the center of point there will be a wagon or mine car and this is called a glory hole the reason is that if you break a ore right it will simply uh, roll down or slide down to the center portion and that will be loaded to a wagon or a mine car which is already there so so far what we had seen is loading by hand and loading by machine and the main work in that is after breaking a ore body you have to lift it and put it in a say mine car or a truck or anything right so in this case that work is actually reduced and that is done by gravity as you can see here it is a concentric steps like uh, structure right so if you break a rock what happens it will simply slide down the slope and that will be filled in the center hole which is called as a glory hole okay so at the center of the pit a shaft s yes, is made to connect the glory hole working with the edit l below so this is the edit l below the glory hole so this will be broken down and be slides down to the track okay so this is how the name it got the glory hole is a cheap method of mining and loading ore the reason is that you can simply break the the ore body it will simply slides down the top of this uh, steps what you had made what you had already made right so that will be loaded to a truck so the process of loading or reduced or even done by the gravitational force okay the it is suitable for massive and thick ore body so if the ore body is massive and thick then only you can go for glory hole method of mining the nature of the ore should be such that it does not jam the rice it should run freely when broken so according to the nature of the ore body it should be like free friable like that right it should not be sticky as if you break the rock it has to slide if it is sticky what happens it will just stay there itself and you have to push it using slushers in the previous video i mentioned slushers right like that you have to use something to push the rock so that that should not be done so here in terms of glory hole the property of the ore itself should be uh, brittle in nature okay the ore should be preferably slide down in the broken condition on a moderate slope so when you break a rock say the ore body here according to the slope it should be sliding down so that is what uh, main property that is required so that you can go for glory hole mine method of mining the large glory hole become unsafe due to the danger of pieces of rock falling from the side even though the walls are carefully dressed so as the glory hole has become larger and larger and if or if you are going for a large size glory hole method of mining there will be a risk that as the size is big so what happens the distance traveled by the broken ore will be larger right so as it moves a longer distance what happens there will be a rise in kinetic energy so that will make a uh, impact on the side walls as well as the rock around it and that may cause trouble or even it may break down and fall so that is a risk in terms of a large size glory hole okay so it should be uh, care should be taken while going for a large size glory hole method of mining 
and adverse weather condition is serious affect the glory hole mining so the weather condition is also controlling the weather of mining as you can see if the rainfall is taking place or if it is a cyclone or whatever it is if the weather condition is very uh, say adverse what we, what happens the rain water will run here and that will soak the ore body here and that will change the property of the ore or the rock here and what happens it may uh, clog in this shaft and the uh, what do you call the dropping of this uh, ore into the bin maybe have some difficulties right and even the freezing is also have a disadvantage in terms of glory hole so this is a generalized sketch and this is a generalized outline about the glory hole and here is a video which i got in the youtube so you can see here and this is a historical glory hole gold mine and this has been captured by drone flight into the mine and this is done by a youtuber called a youtuber channel name called rocky mountain flyers okay so this video is somewhat near six minutes i had cut some 30 to 20 seconds in there if you want you can check this in the youtube uh, by typing the same heading there and you can watch the complete video so you will get a generalized idea how it is so this is the shaft number one so just like this here and this is the portion which has been mined and removed so this is the remaining uh, uh, mining portion which was abundant uh, probably a long back so this is a uh, field view okay so you can see the size uh, the area cover of this glory hole okay the second one is the kaolin mining in cornwall okay so this is a special mining method that was uh, followed only in cornwall at the first stage uh, this is done in terms of say this is a special method of uh, open cast mining and hydraulicing okay so when we are discussing about alluvial mining we are discussed about the hydraulicing where the high uh, velocity water or giant pumps were used for removing the pre-deposited alluvial sediments right the nearly same method is employed here in terms of open cast mining it is done in the cornwall region right so this is how it started and that, that's why it got the name like that the operation consists in sinking two shaft one in the kaolinized ground and other in the granite in the vicinity so in the cornwall region what you can see is there is a granitic uh, body and near that there is a what you call the kaolin deposit is there which is a type of clay right and there are the, you have to do two different shafts in both the soft rock as well as in the granitic rock and this has to be connected with the help of a cross cut tunnel okay and in granitic terrain what we have to do is we have to keep a high uh, water head like a motor should be kept there so you can direct the water with high velocity towards the uh, clay deposits right so before that what you have to do is you have to use picks and shovels to break the rock to some extent and water has to be passed in a high velocity using the jets right and what happens this water will dissolve the clay and brings down the clay from that region okay so after the what happens this water carrying the sediments is passed through a sluice box which is called a sandbox okay so this work the main work of the sandbox is to remove the coarse or sand sized particles from from the running water and after that what they will do is they will keep it in the say a tray like thing so what happens there the clay will be deposited there as the water is stagnant there and the supernated water is removed from that portion and after that what happens this clay is passed to the filter cake press so where a high pressure is used to remove the remaining water and the cakes were made from this clay portion and this has been once again dried using hot air so then the water molecules water present in this clay will be removed totally and you can bag it and keep it for storage or you can even pass it to the market so this is how kaolin mining is done in cornwall region and here is a video which shows <coughs> sorry the actual size of the cornwall kaolin mine here so you can see the size of the mining region and you can see the size of the truck which is uh, which seems like very small actually it is a very big truck so you can compare the actual size of the mining region okay so this is a very big mine uh, say kaolin mine in in this region so you can see the size uh, from this image so from this gif and here is the basic working of this cornwall mining so you can see here water has been pumped with a high velocity towards the rock which has been already broken with the picks shovels or even uh, blasting had been done okay so the water dissolves the clay from this rock region and it will be uh, running from this towards the slope side right so where there will be what you call the sandbox and other things where there where you can simply remove the clay from this region so this is how it works is that clear and this is also from a youtube channel that is uh, dukan c scobie i think the channel name is 
and here is you can see the working uh, principle of uh, working of a china clay mine in cornwall okay so you can if you have some time you can just check this video that will be uh, it will give you a generalized idea about the actual size and method of uh, mining in this region which is still actually running okay if you have any doubt just mention in the comment section we will try to uh, clear in the next upcoming videos thanks for watching have a great day